Today we're on a static preview event of the Wuling Xingyun. It should be translated into something like a Wuling Nebula. But this car doesn't have and won't have an English name because this car won't head to international markets. But that doesn't mean this car is not worthy for a telescope video because we are here to tell you all of the cars that's unique to the Chinese car market. This Wuling Nebula, we are guessing, we don't have the, the official pricing, but we are guessing at $12,000, this should be the cheapest hybrid car you can buy in the even in the Chinese car market and this is not a small SUV you know at 4.6 meters long you will see in a minute I'll sit inside there's more than enough space for a small family so for $12,000 you get a hybrid decent sized SUV and you get to cut your fuel cost by roughly a third at least and that's quite appealing for places in China where infrastructure will never be ready for full battery electric vehicles it has a 2 litre, 136 horsepower, naturally aspirated engine optimized for hybrid applications. It also has a 136 horsepower or 100 kilowatts electric motor front mounted. Total system output, you're looking at 177 horsepower, so more or less equivalent to the 2.4 litre naturally aspirated engines on the Honda CRVs. But the torque is much more instant. It's coming from the electric motor and this car only has one forward gear. So none of the average gearboxes you find on these ultra cheap petrol powered cars. There's not enough space for the battery in the engine bay. So the battery is underneath the rear floor. We don't have official figures on the boot, but you can see this is easily big enough. This car is on torsion beam rear suspension. And since this car is from Wuling or Baojun, they're really the same company and have two sub-brands, you might be expecting the insane amount of underfloor storage that we've already seen on the Baojun cloud. But no, this car has no underfloor storage because underneath here, is the battery they're not giving us the official capacity but we're guessing it's roughly around two kilowatt hours and fuel economy is rated at 5.5 liters per 100 kilometer that's roughly 42 mpg us or 51 mpg uk and that is the real world um, mpg we've been hearing from um, other people as well because this powertrain has been used on other models from wuling and baojun as well so 50 miles per gallon 177 horsepower, zero to 100 acceleration. This car is roughly 7.6 seconds. So quite competent all-round compact SUV. And this uh, uses normal fuel. You don't need to feed it the, uh, super unleaded. Any kind of fuel, it will, it will take it. The interior of this car isn't all that spectacular compared to its petrol-powered uh, counterparts. You have conventional cabin, you have a decent touchscreen, which have just about all the functions you need. The materials are a little bit hard plasticky, but at $12,000, I don't think we can ask for much more than that. The rear cabin is a little bit better. Let's head towards there. This is how big it is. I'm 5 foot 11 on the skinny side, but you can see here we have a lot of legroom, a lot of headroom, and you don't feel cramped in any way whatsoever. This can be your only car, even for a decent sized family. So for $12,000, I still can't quite believe I'm saying that. You get a decently sized SUV with decent performance, good fuel efficiency that you can drive to anywhere on normal fuel. This is roughly the same price as the Baojun Cloud we showed you a while ago, but by having a much smaller battery and with the help of the petrol engine, this can absolutely be your only vehicle for the family. And it is a much bigger, much more versatile car. So if you live in an area where you just can't see the EV infrastructure getting ready in the next five years, this could be your best choice. As I said before, this is the cheapest hybrid SUV you can buy even in China but it won't head towards international market and especially right-hand drive because of the complexity of the petrol engine and the electric powertrain. But if you make enough noises in the comment section, I'm sure they will reconsider. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.